We haven't had these for ages. In fact, I forgot what book they were in. So how small are you cutting these? Uh, like into tiny parts. little bite-sized pieces. Um, because I didn't want to blanch them. I'm going to probably cut them down a little bit more to go into the uh, into the mix. So I just want to quickly blanch them. Okay, it's a really, really quick recipe, this one. Um, so I'm going to do some hot slaw um, while they're while the fish cakes are cooking. So I've got uh, white cabbage, carrot and leek. Uh, I'm just gonna pan fry it in butter as a hot slaw. In your, in your posh butter as well? In the posh butter as well, in the, in the salted butter. Um, we might, um, might spice it up a little bit. You said something wrong again. Ross says what? What? doesn't look like a white cabbage to me. Red cabbage? Oh, because I said slaw. Did I say red? Did I say white? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to um, Go back and look at the video. Oh, no. It's definitely a red cabbage. Can you tell we've just finished a cookbook and we're a bit... Uh... <laughs> a bit brain dead. <laughs> I forgot to drain the tuna and you want to drain the tuna because you don't want all of the moisture. So I've just drained it over the, uh, over the sink. Got it in there. Right, so while I'm waiting for the, the broccoli, so I'm going to quickly cool it down once it's... Um, and actually, oh, I suppose it does say it's uh, in the recipe. It says broccoli florets cooked and cooled. Mm -hmm. And I just said to Ella, but it doesn't say make them into small pieces. So it could be a whole head of broccoli. Um, but it says broccoli. Well, florets, florets, but they're bigger. Florets are bigger. Mm -hmm. um, so it does need to be cut down. So if you're making the fish cakes, um, cut the broccoli florets down to tiny pieces. Because um, I looked and went, hang on, what do I do with the broccoli? It is blanched, it has gone a very, you can't really see it, but it's got a very, very deep, mm. I don't know that over, very deep green. Is that cold water in there now? Yeah, it's cold water, I'm just rinsing it under cold water. Cooked and cooled little florets of broccoli. I am going to sort of like knock them down just a little bit further as well. Um, otherwise the uh, fish cakes will be pretty lumpy. I'm going to take some of the water off the broccoli. I don't want it to be too wet when it goes into the mix. I'm just taking out a little bit of the extra water from the tuna as well so I'm not squeezing it I'm just sort of breaking it up in the colander or the uh, chinois. Um, the what? <laughs> it's a French colander. <laughs> um, uh, just to sort of get any of the little bits of water out because again don't want that that water in the fish cakes. Too much moisture and it just won't hold. There we go so that's two tins of tuna because the recipe calls for one two portions and that means that someone won't eat. And Louis can take the spares to school for lunch. I am going to um, start these off pan frying them and then I'll, I'll move them onto the back. Um, into the oven. Right, so that's the two primary ingredients anyway. Can you make these with other types of fish? Well, tinned, yeah. I mean, the idea is this is tinned tuna in here, so tinned salmon, yes. Um, depends what other type of fish you want to try and use. Um, Smoked haddock might work. It would work, Got but... a decent flavour. It's, it's whether it would bind um, a lot of water in it, mm. because if it's raw. Oh, no, I'm thinking cooked. Oh, right, if you cook it and then flake it, then yes. How much granules? 80 grams, again, two portions, 40 grams per portion. Or oh, per batch. Per, per batch. Because so each pounds. batch makes two portions. Yes, okay. It's just 20 grams. Right, the psyllium husk, it's the very white fibrous stuff. Um, the actual husk. The actual husks. Don't get the powder. This, this works much better uh, in baking. So what would you like to go into your fish cakes tonight? We've got eggs to go in here yet as well, don't, don't worry. Um, I don't know, go with whatever you want. Obviously, we're going to have to go with garlic powder and a um, beef joint. I did um, uh, a gammon hock, um, parboiled, uh, boiled it first and then roasted it in the ninja yesterday. What Stunning. were those herbs? Uh, that's just mixed herbs. Well, you had dill this afternoon, didn't you? Oh, this, yeah, well, you broke yeah, didn't you? So I, I didn't want to put more dill in. Um, Good teaspoon and a half of 
of garlic powder and actually we're gonna have to get some salt in there as well. It's a mix of pink Himalayan and black Himalayan salt. Yeah. <laughs> right, eggs. Coconut oil might actually make it crisp up more as well. Yeah. Oh wow. I didn't realise it was so warm. Yeah. Yeah, about that time. Just done. Got done eating a tasty chicken sandwich with your lazy bread. So, four eggs in there, suddenly it's all gone nice and thick. So, in the picture, I definitely use smaller chunks of I'm pretty sure tuna. you used um, uh, burger press. Yeah, but the, the chunks of uh, broccoli. Are these okay to freeze once cooked? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Do they have to be fried or can you do them in the oven? No, you do them in the oven. I, I did, I did, do you know what? I might actually do that set in the oven. Do in, in, the, in the Ninja. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna do this lot in the Ninja and we can see then the difference of how they cook because they, they will be a little bit brittle. You have to, you can't really see that. Can you move the camera across a little bit? Yeah, they're, obviously they're in the pan. Um, they will be a little bit fragile. Um, so don't try and start moving them around like a burger. Right, there we go. Stop. So I'm gonna whack them in the Ninja. There you go, they've got in the Ninja. Uh, bake setting, 190. Uh, I've still got for 25 minutes, probably won't take that long. It's not preheated either, so. I just whack them in as they are. So they, they look almost like they've got a breadcrumb on them. Yeah, they do a little bit, but they, they, there's nothing nothing on them at all. Um, and you're right, obviously the last time round I pressed them. Yeah. But that's because the, 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 the broccoli wasn't anywhere near as chunky. I'm pretty sure you might have even baked those in a... Um, in the in the trays. In your little Morrison yeah. tin. But, pan frying them, as long as you gentle with them, don't treat them roughly, they'll be fine. Pamela says, should I put some mixed herbs in, put garlic and onion powder in? Oh uh, yeah, we put mixed herbs in. Yeah, there's mixed herbs and garlic powder in there. Denise is asking how many carbs uh, in the red cabbage? In the, in the cabbage, like, yeah, they're, 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 they're three grams per, three or four grams per hundred grams. So this is half a red cabbage, not white, um, which will be about 300 grams in total, maybe maybe four. Okay. These are done. They look so good. I suppose if you if you wanted the <laughs> if you wanted the fish cake crumb, then just wrap it in golden linseed mm. and do it that way. But those they really, look like they've got the crumb on already. Yeah, I mean so a really sort of easy um, fish cake. Uh, pan's not big enough for the crack slaw or the hot slaws, but I'm going to use the oil because there's no point ditching that in the stand again. That's all that's been used for is the fish cakes. Yeah, Ross, you do have to be careful with um, psyllium because I, I remember you, you used it in a sauce. Yeah, one, I did. And it just went like yeah. scrambled eggs. So, actually, I'll, I'll start this off and then I'll cut one of those open and we'll see what it looks like. So, like a teaspoon too much and it's yeah it's just not not great can you use anything instead of the psyllium coconut would be my guess i've tried coconut flour and it just didn't hold up as well yeah so they're more fragile if you're going to use coconut flour then i would recommend baking them so you don't touch them at all they'll hold but if you try and fry them they've got more chance of breaking up it doesn't really matter what order but we'll get the leeks and the carrots in first are you doing your whole apple cider vinegar thing yes, in the cabbage? Yes, yes, yes. Because that really yes, works with yes, red cabbage. I am, I am. Coming from well, someone who yeah. absolutely hates any sort of vinegar. Again, really quick side dish, this one, which we, we have. I mean, it will, even um, crack slaw only takes sort of like 10, 15 minutes to make from start to finish, doesn't yeah. it? Um, because this is finely shredded. That's finely as I can be bothered. If you want to make it even finer, use a, a food processor. Um, you know, you'll get sort of thinner chunks. I've got. I quite like it like that. Yeah, but we again, we quite like it crunchy. So I won't overcook this at all. It won't be a soft, soft, soft slaw. Look at the colour on that. Yeah. Right. 
How much uh, apple cider vinegar? Uh, it'll be about 15, 20 mils. What does that do? Because I know it helps, it uh, complements the flavour, doesn't it? Yeah, and actually, it, it sort of, um, cabbage is a little bit, I don't know, I can't really describe the taste of it, whether it's bitter or, but it just seems to sort of heighten the flavour. So, we'll get, let that get to temperature. That'll be ready in five minutes. Right, fish cakes. Do you want that? That's about right. Let's see what one of these looks like. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. You can see that. You can see the colours on there. And actually, definitely not slimy. And the broccoli still got crunch to it as well. Oh, good. Yeah. More seasoning. What seasoning? Salt and pepper. More salt and pepper. Yeah. We always add that on top, so anyway. Yeah. And actually, I wouldn't cook this too much. You can sort of like, just fling the camera a little bit. You can see the colour is actually sort of, it's gone from sort of the, it's, it goes like a translucent red, doesn't it? Right, there you go, cabbage is done. Ooh. Right, so these have only been in the Ninja for 20 minutes. No. Yeah, 20 minutes. Um, wow. Look, look at those. So, at the bottom, they're fully cooked. I mean, they, they're, 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 they almost look a little bit like rock cakes. Yeah. Um, Broccoli rock cakes. <laughs> well, they are great. They are fabulous. They're done as well, by the way. So 20 minutes in the oven, or in the Ninja anyway.